All right, guys. Uh, about 2016 uh, GMC Terrain. Uh, we're gonna do some SRS or airbag unit reprogramming. I just want to show a little bit, you know, the importance of uh, having a battery maintainer. This is from the Snap-on, as you can see right now here. It says uh, flash reprogram, and it's on a certain voltage, so that will make sure that the battery voltage stays the same through the process of flashing the module. I have, uh, I'm using the uh, Kardec M for the reprogramming. I already am, you know, accessing the GM site. And I'm going to walk you through a little bit of what the process is. Uh, you want to make sure, you know, you have the latest Java or what they recommend in this case is Java 7, update 67. They uh, give you a little bit of uh, attention about the Internet Explorer 8 through 11 being the one supported. In this case, we're going to select the service programming. Again, another warning, if you're gonna do a reprogram or a programming of a new module, they're saying to do or to choose a reprogram of the Echo. Internet Explorer, versions 8 to 11 are currently blocking in updated versions of Java, blah, 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 so make sure that we correct this issue. Okay, this is very important. They make you go over to here and go into the security tab and click trusted size on the security tab and enter those two sites onto that. So let's make sure that we have that because that's all you gotta do is control C and you go right here to the corner on the gear, um, internet options security and yeah, what they said security tab the trusted sites are right here and then on the sites okay well I guess yeah this one is automatically this to s okay we're gonna have this side and we're gonna also got Add the side website to the song. You can add a remove websites. I guess that's all we had to do there. Let's copy this other one too. Doesn't let me touch it if I am working on the internet security tab. So again, control C. We go to the gear at the corner right there. Open that. It's gonna open a drop menu, internet options. Then you go to security, trusted sites, we're already there. And then the sites, make sure we already got this one. So we're gonna copy with control B, the new side, we're gonna add it, and we're gonna close it. So we got everything they, they want us to do. Those two sites are added, and then we click OK. All right, before you start, the right Java 32 bit might be installed, blah, blah, blah. SP is going through several steps that might be time consuming, depending. Okay, let's just start this. It might need to download something. Uh, the have is trying to update, but we don't need to update that because we have the right Java for, for this. Let's run this one. Install that. And see, okay, it's going right now. I'm gonna pause uh, right now for the installation because I don't know how long it's gonna take. If it's quick, I will be coming back and recording. Okay. All right, this is a new laptop, so I'm gonna have to download and install the MDI and the Text2 driver for uh, this, so let's see. Let me also see what else we have here, because I'm going to use a Kardec M. Still gonna install this too. So again, I'm gonna pause the video. I already went through the Java setup and 
that's not a problem right now it's going to be a little bit of a time consuming on this so again i'm going to pause the video and then keep going as soon as that don't, that's done one thing i want to just to say to you guys is like i mean this is ob obviously you just gotta click install install and everything that they give you uh, yeah it's gonna take a little time okay that one is done now it's going to execute the installer that was i think for the mbi i don't i don't think the test tool is still being downloaded i mean at least the driver so again i'll be back but the good thing about the videos is you guys will not even feel that okay all right after the installation this is the next screen you're going to get um, in this case i'm going to get again i'm going to use the card cam i don't have the test tool or either one so i'm going to get that one and i'm going to follow their instructions saying that don't choose a replace reprogram just choose a reprogram so let's see yeah, otherwise i will have to just go back this is a simple one it's just a srs unit so let's see okay that is um our device is connected you know our j2534 device which is a cardiac ms connected it says to turn the ignition off verify the vehicle battery is fully charged we already got that turn the ignition on engine off i already had that connect the device into the data lake connector all these steps are already done and it says after programming the technical will be given an opportunity to clear the diagnosis code which definitely we need to do that too all right so let's go next all right we're going to choose our vehicles let's see what we got here okay so we're going to choose gm this is 2016 terrain it's now communicating with the device the vehicle and let's check our B number make sure that it's in 0832 which 0832 that's exactly what we have in there so we're good now we're going to click next next bottom right corner and let's choose what we're going to do again this is a drop menu transmission inflatable restriction right here okay we have the SDM inflatable restraint sensing and diagnostic module we choose that one we're going to do programming normal and then we click on next all right i gotta tell you what happened here okay i went and tried with the reprogram thing that they told me i mean that they warned you in there to do and it didn't work every time it was like a this new calibration not supported by the website blah 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 so I went back and then did like replace and program and now I'm back here so far it's giving me the next and the other one it was just a new cancel so here we go next after programming you must run the setup procedure select inflatable restrict sensing module set up the supported controllers the screen the passenger pension system will not function properly if the SEM setup is not completed so we need to do the setup for the SDM and then I guess the passenger present system all right and this is now what is autom automatic we will download and install the software on it so this is already 15% 50% finish as you can see it's already downloaded so that's going to be quite a bit of a time i would say maybe 10 minutes so again i'm going to pause and and keep going as soon as this is pretty much done okay okay back again programming complete we should print this so i'm going to print it just in case 
And I'm gonna save it as a. Let me see if I have it here. Uh, no. I still have a printer. I think I've set up the printer here. So. Let me see if I can see that later. Terrain 16. Let's put this on the desktop. And I'm going to save it. All right, now we are going to clear our DTCs. All right, it says uh, that's the warning. Okay, I did the clear up of the DTCs. Return to the interface to the dial link. When finished, return to return the interface to the dial link connector. Notice after programming the SDM, you must run the setup procedure. Select inflatable restraint sensing and diagnostic module set up from from the supported controller screen. So I'm gonna pause and try to find that out and uh, get you guys back. So again, what you gotta do is on the bottom of the screen was like proceed with the same bin. It's gonna take you to this screen, which is, you know, the supported controllers. You're gonna hit there, which is, you know, the SDM module. And instead of programming, which you already did, we're gonna do the setup. We'll click next. And now it's launching the application that we need to do. I mean, that we need to run. NSS setups SDM primary key BCMs SDM enable deployment loops. Okay, those two are selected automatically, so we just click next. Turn the ignition on, it's on. Well, it's telling me that the SD primary key is not necessary for this one, but the other one was. Cycle the ignition switch from on to off and back to the, I mean, back to the on position. Let's see if I can reach that in there. Okay, we got off and then on. Then back to the on position, we did that. Ignition is on, let me make sure we got that on. As you can see, all the lights are on. And then we click OK. I'm probably shortened the video maybe two, three minutes. It wasn't that that is slow downloading or setting it up so okay the procedure the procedure is set up and I'm pretty much done all right clearing DTCs will erase all the store history data from all the controllers and data links so we're gonna do again the clear DTCs now that we set up the SEM module I can hear the car blinking, I mean, beeping inside, so that's going through the process of erasing the codes. I think we're pretty much done. Let's see. So you can see on the post programming instruction itself, it tells us that if there is no control on specific instructions, turn the ignition off for 30 seconds and to reset the controller, which is, you know, where we did that. So I guess we're done. As you can see, there is no more circling, you know, in between the DTCs uh, stuff. So we're not, we don't need to do anything else. There is no more instructions. And that's pretty much uh, the procedure to reprogram the 
airbag module or SDM module on the 2016 uh, GMC terrain. Hope you guys like the video. If you do, please uh, subscribe and don't forget to thumbs up and like the video. Okay, have a good have a good day. Bye bye.